Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are with a brand new Volkswagen Touareg 2024 and we have the new multimedia system. And in this video, I want to explain you the multimedia system and the new digital cockpit and the head-up display so you can make an idea about them. So let's start. First of all, I will start with a head-up display, but I want to choose a destination in the navigation first is very important because in this way we can the roads see are being also yes. the destination is on the limited access road yes wait a second we just choose this one and then we are good to go because right now on the head-up display you can see also the map so the head-up display is directly on the windshield from my point of view, the brightness, the quality, it's super good. And then if we go a little bit lower, we will see this new kind of new digital cockpit. It's not super new, but it's big, it's nice, it's visible. And I like the fact that in Tuareg, Volkswagen really designed the screen and the multimedia for the driver. So you have a lovely visibility right here. It's tilted to the driver, so it's great. Now, great visibility also in the cockpit. The cockpit, you can customize it from here, from those touch buttons, and you can change different views. For example, if you want to have the navigation all over the screen, you can leave it like that. You have all over the screen the navigation. You can also customize and change wherever you want to see in the middle, like vehicle status, uh, night vision, head-up display, off-road, driving data, system systems, map, audio, telephone, and so on. Vehicle status, you can see here information about the car. You have the night vision that you need a few minutes, I think one, two minutes in order to load and show you in the front. Nothing uh, big to see here in the front, but if the car come with night vision, it's great in the nighttime when an animal or person pass by in the distance, you can saw it here on the screen and this is super useful feature to have we will get back there in a second when it will load but the great part is that here in the middle the car comes with a 15 inch display it's super visible and the new navigation system it's much more responsive than it was before and uh, it's much more bigger so you see here all the things quite quite easy and i like that the fact that they changed the hardware and the software it's much more uh, responsive. Now the night vision is on, but it's nothing much to see there in the front. Now the telephone and the audio, you already know it. The map, you already saw it. We have assistance systems, all that autopilot safety stuff. Uh, while you're driving the car, you can saw them there. And from here, you can adjust and see different information about the car. And also you can see the consumption and scene starts, all kind of settings about the car, off-road information, it's very, very uh, cool because here you can see actually the position of the car, the head-up display settings, you find it here, and kind of those are all, you know. So I like, from my point of view, my, the map is my favorite. The fact that you can see it all over the screen, it's great. Now, if you go in the middle, here is the multimedia system. And of course, the multimedia system, from my point of view, it start to be better and better. We have shortcut buttons on the left side. For example, the thrusting start stop engine button, uh, recirculation, the air inside. Here you find all the safety features of the car. You can access turn on and off from here very simple it's just just like that and then here you have the parking settings because the car is able to park itself you have the parking setting here up here again some shortcuts from radio media car vehicle here you find all the information about the vehicle like tire pressure vehicle status and from down here you can change the off-road information you can see the off-road deposition inclination and information and then you have the driving data of course the consumption you can restore all to zero or you can go in the settings here and you find even more settings about the car like tire pressure like lights you can change the lights here, dynamic lights assist. You can uh, switch on and off additional IQ light function, automatic headlights, control and rain, travel mode, left traffic, right traffic, all kind of settings uh, about lights. You find it here, even the animation, HD light animation, you can change from here. It has free animation, one, two, three, so you can change them from here. Super simple. Now, if you go back, you go to driver assistance systems, you already saw it, 
parking and maneuvers, background light, it has, it comes with background light and it has these light bars inside the car so you have a nice beautiful ambient light inside the cabin, even the brightness you can change it from up there and then actually let me show you, here is the color and then if you go here to brightness you can change the brightness from every position of the light. And then you have mirrors and wipers settings. From here you can synchronize and change, turn on and off different settings, open and closing, instrument cluster. From here you can customize what you like to see on the instrument cluster. So that's also super nice. And also on the other side, and you can see consumption, distance, height, and driving time and speed and driver assist and stuff like that. It's super, super cool. Anyway. And then we go back, we have like head of display settings, time and date and units. So simple. Then if you go back to settings, this is the settings. Again, here you find the vehicle, user, media, navigation, Apple CarPlay. It's already connected my phone, so I will show you later. And here on the settings, you find all the settings. And uh, um, I should say, yeah you can customize the, the sound settings and up here you have the telephone the connectivity to the phone and then you have the navigation if we go in the middle this is kind of the home button that gives you to the home get you to the home you have two pages on the home but you can also customize those pages depend how you want it so they still keep that classic uh, signature that Volkswagen have it and if you go right here and then you go to settings you have all the settings time, language, units, and all that stuff are there. Now, if you want to go and see, check this out. This is a big improvement that they bring to the car, is the fact that now you can see all over those 15-inch screen, this Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, it's super useful and it works really fast. And I already connect my phone here. You have all the application on the... On the from the phone i guess you get a lot of uh, useful information from the video i hope i cover everything ah climatic system now the climatic system it's on the down part right here so it always stay on the screen it comes also with ventilation on the seats free position heated seats free position and it comes also with the possibility to change the temperature from here uh, change from here the automatic depend how you want it low medium and high this is great that you can do that and here on the air con it's open up the menu of the air conditioning and you can choose the position where the air to go you can choose the vent speed you can synchronize you can recycle the air ac on and off and here it's also an extra filter you can also uh, activate it, deactivate it, and from here you can close the climatic system. So in general, those are all guys. So I hope you get some useful information from this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you want to see the full review with this Tuareg, the video, it's already on the channel, so check it out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, stay safe, and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.